for 30 years, God has continually worked through his friend, David E. Taylor, on an incredible global scale to demonstrate the good news of his kingdom. Because of this, persecution has arisen. Jesus said, Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. It has caused God's ministry here at JMMI to grow over 10 times as much. Like the scriptures say, but the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied and grew. Listen to what's happening. The greatest movement to ever hit the earth is now here. God the Father and Jesus Christ have come down from heaven to earth. Openly working with David E. Taylor in the greatest move that has ever been seen in all of history, as it was in the days of Moses and Jesus. It looked like a face appeared face. in the clouds. This is phenomenal. Because God is using David E. Taylor's best-selling book, Face-to-Face -face Appearances from Jesus, millions are experiencing face-to-face -face appearances from Jesus. I was born and raised Muslim. I read the book Face to Face. Jesus appeared to us. I was brought up as a Hindu worshipping idols. And as I began reading the book, I had my first encounter with the Lord. You had said ahead of time, which is amazing in itself, that the Lord is going to come to you. <laughs> he came, and he came this close, face to face. Celebrating 30 years of ministry, David E. Taylor's continually welcomed the nations who gathered to experience the intense presence of God, healing, and miracles. He said she's walking stronger off this walker or She's possible. walking off her walker now. Walk across there. Look, oh my God, look at that. Look at that, look at that. Some of you have been harassed by individuals sending you private messages on Facebook or your phone, slandering Apostle Taylor and JMMI. Some of these sources include the Herald Newspaper of Southgate, Michigan, Charisma Magazine, The Christian Post, Churchleaders.com, Facebook, and YouTube channels propelling misleading content from Vicki Yohi, The Larry Reed Show, and The Britney Channel. Some of the sources have shared Apostle Taylor's deposition video, which was completely manipulated by a known homosexual and racist. This man's name was Rick Frazier, who was working with the Taylor, Michigan City Judge Karen McDonald. They propelled this deposition video to make it seem like Apostle Taylor was taking ministry funds, which is false. They knew this, and the personal gifts Apostle Taylor received from his friendly relationships were painted to look like he was taking ministry money, which was a lie. Furthermore, his books are audited from an independent third-party form with integrity every year. When the deposition video came out, they thought he was stealing money, lying, and was bound to fail. But no, these were all lies and were all proven wrong. To this day, he has never gone to jail or charges pressed against him because he did nothing wrong. It was not an FBI investigation. Apostle Taylor works with the FBI, and they know that there is no mishandling of ministry funds here. Wicked members in the government that have seen the deposition video and believed it without further investigation have tried to persecute Apostle Taylor. The city of Taylor's mayor, Rick Solers, would never act favorable towards Apostle or even meet with him after he and his staff reached out to him and invite him to the Crusades. It was Apostle's heart to honor him, but he refused, and threats from the city began to be released against JMMI, including the Taylor City Police mistreating and harassing Apostle staff continually. Apostle Taylor loves the government, but when they cross the line and interfere with God's kingdom, they must be stopped by the Lord. The dominion and authority that God has given to Apostle Taylor is insurmountable in the realm of the Spirit from Jesus appearing to him. He said that these people would come down by the keys of the kingdom. With the keys of the kingdom, and I'll unlock the heavens to bring judgment on every accusatory mouth. I loose righteous government around this ministry. I loose righteous policemen who are not corrupted in government. In the name of Jesus, every internet right up on me, whoever has been behind it to deter people and to destroy souls. He says in this crusade, I want you to use the keys of the kingdom and unlock heaven against them this time. That goes for Vicky Yoey, Larry Reed, every last one of them. Look at this amazing testimony against the people God's power brought down, as you see here. Suddenly, the judge lost her bench. The mayor was raided by the FBI. In the wake of the FBI investigation of Taylor's mayor, things are heating up in City Hall. We've seen the FBI combing through the mayor's office, his home. Taylor, Michigan police, working with corrupt officials, were also investigated by the FBI. 
Some of you also saw and heard about the news write-up that Apostle Taylor was suing the Port Authority and the mayor in North County because of their underhanded dealings with him when he was in negotiations with them for the Macy's Mall. Eve Sanger and another lady named Sheila Sweeney underhanded him out of this deal, but God dealt with them, and now they are pleading guilty to charges against them. Found evidence. County Executive Steve Stanger hid a multi-million dollar transaction benefiting him while costing taxpayers. Sheila Sweeney walked out of court after pleading guilty to one count of what's called misprision of a felony. As Rick Frazier was pursuing Apostle, a judgment was released against him and he broke both his femur bones. You must understand that this doesn't just happen. These judgments happen to the exact people who were behind the situation. God preserved Apostle Taylor and brought him vindication from corrupt judges, police, and mayors in the American government that have tried to slander his name publicly. Vicki Yohe and Larry Reed has also been speaking evil of Apostle and the ministry. It's so absurd because she just said this not too long ago. I met Jesus here physically. I saw him walk. I see, I see Jesus. This movement is for real and I believe in it. Fire. Give the Lord a shout of praise. When I pulled on the grounds today, I felt Jesus. His hand is all over you. And you are his mouthpiece. You are his voice to this generation. There's nothing fake or phony about it. Nothing. It's the real deal. I've been a part of this movement for over a year. My life is forever changed. I notice you say it's like a cult. They, like a, it's a cult. Cultish. It's nothing like a cult. We all have seen Jesus. That's We have something in common. We've all seen Jesus. We've read the book Face to Face Appearances by Jesus. And our life is forever changed. Apostle Taylor blessed Vicky at a very low time in her life when she was going through social media attacks. When he saw that, he brought her into Jamamai because she was wanting to actually kill herself. He did this to encourage her and bless her, and God blessed her life. Now she has turned against someone who has tried to help her. How sad. Allegedly, from reputable sources, Larry Reed is a known homosexual, just like Rick Frazier. It's a fact that those who push the homosexual agenda are against Jamamai, a Christian ministry. Vicky hooked up with Larry, which makes sense since she was married to a homosexual for many years. This agenda in America will not stand. They try to get our kids to believe in homosexuality, gay pride, and gay marriage. Because Apostle Taylor stands against those things, people who perpetuate the cyber war against him are clearly into homosexuality. Even the judge, Karen McDonald, did a ruling in Michigan where she allowed two lesbians to adopt five children and opened the door for this spirit to grow in this state.